Good morning internet! Today I want to talk to you about 3D, in particular 3D glasses. My blog readers will know this, but here is the situation. I like the current trend for 3D films, but it only works well when it was the director's intention from the start and was filmed with a 3D camera rig. The films which are converted in post-production are limited to visual effects tweaks and still remain fairly flat. So films like Avatar, Toy Story 3 or The Three Musketeers look great in 3D. But the likes of Clash of the Titans, Green Hornet or Thor, not so good. That's just a comment on the 3D, not the films overall. The one problem I have is that as someone who wears glasses, putting another pair of 3D glasses on top is never quite comfortable. Take the standard Real D glasses for example. They fit over my glasses quite well, but they sit slightly further down my nose. If you wear glasses you'll understand. They sit on the spot where you instantly feel the need to push them up. If my normal glasses sat there I'd be all like, right away. But with both pairs that doesn't work and you end up just jabbing yourself in your face with your own glasses. That distracts you from the film, so if 3D is going to be a thing we're going to need some alternatives. My first avenue of research was to look for prescription 3D glasses. From what I know of passive 3D technology it doesn't sound like it would be such a difficult thing to make. The search didn't yield very many results though. There are a few companies talking about it but nowhere is a price mentioned. This leads me to believe they are still a custom job and probably quite expensive. Unfortunately I don't know quite how I made the leap but eventually I did find an alternative that works quite well for me. 3D clip-ons! I found them on the Amazon.com marketplace and had to get them shipped from the US. But you only have to see around 6 3D films to recoup that cost. Also I believe you can get them in the UK now as well, I will put some links down in the doobly doo. For your other 3D needs you can also get the traditional red blue which are great for watching 3D YouTube videos. As nice as a set like these are, they just don't fit over my glasses. I don't think I've personally seen any footage that uses it, but you can get green purple ones as well. The world looks a bit weird with those on. Still, they're not perfect. Some sometimes you'll notice the clips out of the corner of your eye, but they're far more comfortable to wear. That's all great for passive 3D content in the cinema, but what about at the home, when most setups use active 3D? The glasses for those require a battery and a wireless receiver. I can't imagine getting clip-on versions of those. This is not something I know a lot about yet as I don't currently own a 3D TV, but I would like to one day. I did get to try out these at the London International Technology Show last month and they were incredibly light. I barely noticed I was wearing them. So perhaps that will be less of an issue with better made permanent glasses com compared to a one pound throwaway piece of plastic. They'd better be good at $150 a pair. At least things have improved in the last 10 years since Nvidia first tried to implement 3D gaming. These things are so heavy they barely sit on my nose properly and you had to be plugged in. Side note, if you have a friend that likes to watch 3D films but you don't, there is a solution for you. Ant Green's 2D glasses, which will flatten the image for you and allow you to both enjoy the same film together. Those are my thoughts for today. I need someone to invent prescription active 3D glasses please. And I will see you again on Friday.